Hey guys, welcome back to my craft room. So today we are going to be working on a springtime pocket letter. And I kind of want to... I'm kind of debating. <laughs> I kind of feel like I want to use this paper, this polka dot. Yeah, so I was thinking maybe the flowers, but I've got to make an Easter as well, Easter pocket letter. So I think I'm going to save the flowery ones for Easter and use this one for my springtime. And also Easter as well. I'm going to start off with my three and a half by two and a half. Just my inserts. Oops. There we go. And we're going to be practically using all of the doodle bug papers I have and all those extra little pieces with a few extra little elements. Just gonna go ahead and cut them all right now. <laughs> so that way when we go to do our Easter pocket litter, we'll just be ready. I was debating maybe doing the stripes with it. Oh, I actually kind of like that. Kind of mix it up a little bit here. That way it's just not flat. <laughs> Cute. Okay, let's look at my doodle bug images and look for some more springy looking ones. Easter, Easter. That one's more Easter. That one could be springtime, but mainly Easter, springtime, or Easter, springtime, Easter, Easter, it's just flowers, and, oh, well, <laughs> I was thinking for some reason that they were more springy. <laughs> But I also have some embellishments from Andrea. It was from our plants. Yeah. Plants embellishment swap. And I thought, oh, these would be perfect for Easter slash spring. And I think I'm going to use them on here. Oh, I'm going to take that foam tape off. I think I'm going to save the purple ones for something else. I think I want them on the polka dot. Maybe on opposite corners. Oh, cute. And then... I don't know why I just had a brain fart. Oh, oh. <laughs> I was like, I was thinking of something. I have some doilies. Now these are from Kim, if I remember correctly. From some happy mail. And I was like, in when I was opening it, I was like, these are perfect for spring. And I put them right away with my, um, what I was going to be using 
for spring. You gotta do oranges. I feel like that's where we're going with this. An orange springy. Maybe we'll add some pink too. I think that'll be good. Or maybe some yellow. Because I've got yellow flowers that I want to use too. Hmm. I think I'm going to save this pink one for Easter. What size is this? So I can probably cut it down into fours and it'll be good. Just do a little bit of a corner piece on all of the, okay, let's move these out of the way. Well, actually, because there's three, what I could do is just do each layer has one of each doily. This is going to look so good. I wonder if I like a Hello Spring stamp. And then I can save the extra. Actually, put that. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. They're going to. Save the extra as a goodie, is what I was thinking. <laughs> My brain kind of went weird there. It's because I was debating if I should alternate where I want to put each piece, or if I want them going all the same direction. I kind of like the idea of them all going in the same direction, actually. I think it looks a little bit better. Because I can't have them all actually like, complete a doily, so this will be a little bit better. Oh, come on. Because it has a rough edge, it just wanted to fight me. There, that one went on smooth. <laughs> Why can't the others? I love all these colors. <laughs> they don't normally go with as vibrant. 
That is cute. Although that yellow is not quite, <laughs> it's more of a mustard, so it's a little strange. Okay, let's put our flower embellishments on there. check if they will fit in there. Oh, perfect. This one gives me a little bit of trouble. Let's see if that does it. Aha, perfect. Okay, now we're going to use these plants um, Actually, that doesn't look too bad having that kind of a messy edge I actually kind of like that so I'm thinking, let's just put those kind of little diagonally, kind of messed up a little bit. think that's good. I'm kind of, I kind of have a plan here <laughs> of, you know, I don't necessarily need to put three elements on each thing because I, I'm going to add things to the outside. So I need a, a sentiment. I would like a spring, but I'm not sure. Happy Easter. I know I just have like a hello. Be Easter. <laughs> Don't really need that one. I could use some alphas actually. That might be kind of cool. I might actually just have to do that. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm trying to think of my alphas. What colors I have. I have that green. Oh. Okay. I don't know where they went. <laughs> Aha! Well. And then we can just put spring on there.
so that doesn't quite show up very well. Can't get it back off. Looks like we're gonna have to put it on the Ooh, that might not fit with that large R. I printed off some sentiments, but it's going to be too large for a pocket letter size. Erg. Gotta move it over more. <laughs> yeah. There we go. I feel like I need to add something up there still. And then, oh. <laughs> Actually, Spring has And bring that down <laughs> and we learned from spring that we need to give lots of extra room <laughs> sp r u oh that's going to be tight. N. Mm. It's kind of cool that they're all in the yellow. <laughs> I do that on accident. <laughs> and then G. So I need something. Wow. Something up there. This is tough. <laughs> what do I put there? Wow. 
honestly don't know. Because, like, I could do another sentiment, but, eh, don't really want to do that. Don't really know what image I would put. I don't really want to do a cluster of flowers. Let's see. Maybe. Oh, that's cute. And then we'll put something in the center. Come on. Wondering, maybe I should put the bows on the outside so they don't get so squished. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Use the rubber finger. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I think I want to do this trim. Just a bunch of flowers. I don't know. If... Oh, it just says decorative trim yellow. <laughs> so informative. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is so cute. Just going to put that down the side. Where's the finger? Okay. And I think I want to put just one of these little flowers, or just a cluster maybe, right on top of there. That is so cute. I'll end up using this trim for the Easter one as well. Just because it's so cool. I almost lost it because it's so little. Like, where'd it go? Oh, 
Oh my gosh, that's adorable. I still haven't added all the extra flowers. <laughs> Probably doesn't even really need them, but I think it'll be cute to add them. Grab all of the orange and yellow. Okay, that should be good. I won't use them all. Just kind of put them around randomly. Oh, so cute. Love that. I'm trying to look to see if I want to add anything else. Hmm, I think that's good. I like that a lot. <laughs> it turned out so cute. Okay, so let's add some of those. Doilies. Add some extra papers. Do some of that white trim and some of the yellow trim. Need to leave a spot for my note. Let's do some of these hearts. Do some of this washi. succulents aren't really springy per se but planting season <laughs> um hmm. could do some flowers if I got a little baggy out I think I can cram that down in there
Okay. One more. Actually, I could do a T. Yeah, I might do that. Mm -hmm. Although I'm not sure what type of tea would be really good for spring. <laughs> Maybe like a flowery. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll do that later, though. There are the goodies. And then here is our spring. Talk later. Spring has sprung. I think it turned out so cute. Oh my gosh. I love that trim. That's amazing how that just kind of brought everything together with all the yellows. Oh, I love it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me while I made it. I hope you're having a crazy day. Good crazy, not bad crazy. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.